So if my Shopsmith bandsaw was the only saw that I had access to, and I needed to cut some boards like this two by four, and I needed to cut them in a place where they weren't gonna fit underneath this arm over here. Um, I, I could turn the board like this and cut it at an angle, but that's gonna waste some material here. Um, I, could, I could raise it upright as long as my boards are, are short enough to fit underneath here and here, which is about six inches maximum. But even then, I'm gonna have to tilt them at an angle in order to feed the stock through. And so I'm gonna end up with a, a miter and some wasted material. Um, I can do this another way with the Shopsmith bandsaw. Okay, I've removed the table insert here and I'm going to take out the guide block. And I wanna take both top and bottom sets out to do this. I might need to take the cover off to get this side out. So normally these guide blocks you see are facing this direction uh, on the bottom. We have a 45 degree angle meeting a 90 degree angle and that accom accommodates the, uh, the, the tilting of the table. But on the opposite side, they're ground at different angles. So if I install this with this one facing this way, and this one facing this way, believe it or not, I can make that blade tilt about 45 degrees. So I'm gonna first do this and, and make it rather tight. And I'm gonna come back and loosen that here in a second. Here on the top. Go in at 45 degree angle, come in here at the matching 45, and again, push in. I tend to, if you just saw that, I'll, I'll manually twist that blade a little bit just to help the process along. So right now I have that so tight, this might not even, even want to turn, and so I, I need to back this off just a smidge. Oh, not that one, we'll back off. That one just a smidge, and this one. Let's see if we've got. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. Crazy, crazy engineers. All right, we want to check to make sure that our, our guide blocks aren't so far forward that they're going to uh, cause interference with the tips of the blade. There we go. Uh, my insert isn't really designed to be worked at an angle like this, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. And let's do this crazy thing. Again, something we can only do with a Shopsmith bandsaw and that I, I, I wouldn't do with your Shopsmith bandsaw. <laughs> All right, let's watch it from here. All right, let's do this stupid thing. There we go. Look at that. Made a relatively square cut across those two faces. <laughs> yeah, I don't recommend doing that, but hey, if you have to in a pinch, we can do it with the Shopsmith bandsaw. <laughs>